Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist. I would like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. If you like these videos, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Well, I'd like to do a short video today, just a dialogue on flat feet. This is a problem that I see in my office a lot, and I'm sure there are a lot of questions regarding it. Maybe I'll be able to help you out with some of your questions. So some nuts and bolts regarding flat feet. There's two types. There's the flexible flat foot, and there is the rigid flat foot. The flexible fo flat foot is the one in which when you're not bearing weight on your foot, your arch is elevated, but as soon as you bear weight, the arch collapses. A flexible flat foot. Whereas a rigid flat foot, whether you're bearing weight or not, there is no arch. Flat foot can develop either as a child, and that's usually due to genetics, or it can develop later in life, which we call, which we call acquired flat foot. And there are a lot of different causes for acquired flat foot. It can be the result of a metabolic disease. Um, it can be the result of trauma. It can be the result of ligamentous laxity, tendon injury. It can be the result of surgery. There are many different causes for a flat foot. Which leads us to the next question, which is, should you treat it? A lot of the literature will say, no, you, you don't need to treat it unless there's pain. I think that's a very viable viewpoint, and uh, I have no trouble subscribing to that on my right side. Whereas, as a podiatrist, on my left side, I'm looking at the problem and thinking preventative medicine here, because a lot of the problems that I see, especially the rigid deformities like bunions and hammer toes, these are the oftentimes the result of a flat foot type and could have been prevented had the patient address their flat foot at a younger age. And unfortunately, when they come to see me and they have that rigid deformity, it's too late now, and they're looking at surgery to fix that problem. A lot of times I see patients in the office that have painful symptoms in their foot, like plantar fasciitis or tendonitis or maybe Morton's neuroma, and oftentimes those can be reversed by simply recreating the arch. How do you address a flat foot? How do you fix it? Can you fix it? I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube and read a lot of different articles regarding addressing flat foot. I have my own opinion on this. I like looking at this through the eyes of an engineer. Now, I'm not an engineer, and I don't think you have to be an engineer to really understand it. It's really more just, you know, physics. You're standing on the floor, and your weight is pushing your arch down. It's going to be very difficult to strengthen a muscle to hold your arch up. It's going to be very difficult to stretch your foot or your legs, your muscles, and, and expect that you're going to develop an arch. I'm not saying that, that there isn't a place for physical therapy or that, that stretching isn't good for you or muscle strengthening should be avoided. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that I believe that the first thing that you need to do is you need to fix the floor because your arch is going down, especially in a flat foot, until it hits the floor. If you bring the floor up, then the arch doesn't have to go down so far, and a lot of times that fixes the symptoms, that fixes the problem. How do you do that? Well, you use an arch support, right? The arch support becomes the new ground. It raises the ground up so the arch doesn't have to go down so far. Then, you could go to the physical therapist, right, and work on muscle strengthening, which you may need to do. Or then you can also incorporate the stretching. But the first thing that I believe that one needs to do is they need to address the engineering aspect of it, fix the floor. Now, you can do this sometimes with an over-the-counter arch support. Sometimes you need to use something that's custom. Um, I've done many videos on over-the-counter arch supports, and you can check those out and get different ideas on different arch supports. I've also done a video on how to measure your own arch so that you get a good idea of what kind of arch type you have. But this is just my thought process on how I address a flat foot when it comes into my office. Now, there are times when surgery is indicated for a flat foot. It's not that often. And that's something that you need to discuss with your own doctor. You need to discuss this with a doctor that you trust and have a good relationship with so that you're certain that when you're dealing with surgery, it's being done at the appropriate time. All right, well, if you learned something in this video, please, again, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Dr. Dave. I'll see you in the next video.